Oh yeah. All right, so the bulbs going into this headlight were kind of being difficult. So uh, ended up just using, you know, like WD-40 or whatever kind of lubricant and uh, lube up these pins. And then on the lock collar, get that lubed up where it makes the contact points. And then uh, even the adjusters, like, you're going to want to put some lubricant down into these holes where these things move around. Do all three of them where it makes a connection. Alright, so I've been having some issues putting these headlights in. So I figured I'd go through uh, some of the problems and uh, the solutions we've been coming up with. So, the, the Lightning had a high low kit on it. This is a DDM tuning. And uh, this, this bulb is actually from like, uh, I think I got it back in like 2010. So I know they've changed these a lot over the years and I think if you get their um, ultra bulbs, this is a lot smaller now too. So that's been kind of causing an issue getting the headlight in and out. And um, you're probably better off getting the headlights in and then putting the bulbs in after the fact. But you might actually be able to fit. This is just a low beam only 9007. So we're going to swap out the high lows for just the low beam because this is a a lot easier to deal with and this this flange is actually a little smaller so getting this lock ring on is a lot easier so then the other issue we're having is that shield inside of there this one uh, we bent it up to kind of line it up with the, the hole where the, the bulbs gonna come in so if you just put your finger in there you can kind of move this thing around So, you can kind of see on this, that shield's really not lined up with the opening. So we're going to have to pull this headlight out as well and uh, bend that shield. The other thing too is, trying to pull this headlight out was being really difficult. And what was happening is, you got like these little tabs under here, underneath the headlight. You can see that. So these tabs are kind of like sticking down and what was happening trying to pull the headlight out they're like getting caught on this lip so you know be aware of that and then the other thing too like where the where it mounts in here on the headlight on the, the mounting panel you really want to lubricate all this stuff get some kind of lubricant on it same thing on this side and then, uh, you know, lubricate all this stuff. And I think we're even going to got to lubricate these threads too. So should make it a little bit easier to do the adjustments. So I'm going to pull the other side apart, swap the bulb out, move that shield, try to get that straightened out. All right, so we're going to bend that shield up. Just trying to get that shield to, to line up with that opening all right so got the headlights finished up and uh, basically wired the LEDs so that uh, when you turn the key on the LEDs come on so 
so then anytime the truck's got the key on, you know, if you're just driving during the day, it's kind of like a daytime running lamp. Turn on. So you still got, you know, the markers on the, the headlights function the way they normally would. All right, so to wire in the LEDs, you know, I've got the harness that comes off the headlights, so you got power and ground. So just grounded them to the chassis on both sides. So in the fuse box, there's a 15 amp fuse that goes in here. So got a mini add a circuit. You know, you put the 15 amp fuse in there, and then the side that this power comes off of uh, got a 3 amp fuse in there. So, basically, what's happening here is you've got um, the power from the driver's side coming up here, and then this loom had to run a wire all the way over to pick up the hot lead from the passenger side. So, both of those power leads come in, they get tied into this add a circuit so that when you turn that key on, this gets power and that's what fires those LEDs that come on I'm sure a lot of people probably just tap into the uh, into the parking lights but like I said wanted to have it wired up so that those LEDs run all the time every time that the truck starts up and it's running those LEDs will come on kind of like a daytime running lamp so that loom comes around So that's your, this is the power lead for the passenger side. And then like I said, passenger side is just grounded to the fender. And uh, just use like a Dremel tool to notch out the side here. 